sense things around us. We have five sense organs. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin. Our eyes help us see the wonderful world around us. They enable us to read, write, and watch movies. Our ears help us hear different sounds like the ringing of telephone, the whistle of the train, the honking of a car, and the chirping of birds. Our nose helps us smell things. They may be nice smells like fragrance of flour or bad smells like that of a garbage dump. Our tongue helps us taste whatever we eat. It enables us to know whether a thing is sweet, salty or sour. Our skin helps us feel whether a thing is hot, cold, hard or soft. Keeping fit We must take care of our body if we want to stay healthy and fit. Here are a few tips that we should follow. We should eat healthy food and avoid fast food. Drink plenty of clean water. Do some simple exercises every day. Take a bath daily and wear clean clothes. Take sufficient rest and sleep. Chapter 3 My Family Mother, father and their children together make a family. All members of a family live together in a house. Families are of the following types. Nuclear family, single parent family, joint family. Let us read about them. Nuclear family. A family in which parents and their one or two children live together is called a nuclear family. A nuclear family is usually a small family. Single parent family. Sometimes children live with either the mother or the father only. Such a family is called a single parent family. Joint family. A joint family has parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts and their children. Children of uncles and aunts are called cousins. A joint family is a large family. All the members of a family have a common last name. This is called surname. The surname is written in the last followed by the name. Sharma, Kapoor, Kohli, Singh and Khan are some common surnames. Sharing and caring in the family. Members of a family share work at home. They also take care of each other. Parents Some of the important functions performed by parents are given below. They work hard to earn money for the family. They take care of our needs. They help us in our studies. They play with us and teach us good manners and good habits. They look after us 
when we are sick. Children, we also help our parents in many ways. We prepare our own bed. We help our mother in the kitchen. We receive and serve our guests. We bring necessary things from the nearby shop. We water the plants in the garden. We take care of our pets.
Chapter Four: Our Neighborhood. The area near or around our house is called our neighborhood. People who live in the neighborhood are called our neighbors. It is very nice to have good neighbors. They give us a sense of security and well-being. We help each other in times of need. A good neighborhood has many useful places. Market. A market has many shops that sell different things. We go to the market to buy things like fruits, vegetables, food grains, clothes, utensils, medicines, and toys. Some neighborhoods have supermarkets or shopping malls. One can buy many things under a single roof there. Hospital and dispensary. We go to a hospital when we get hurt or fall sick. A hospital has many doctors and nurses who treat us and help us recover. A hospital provides ambulance service. We can simply dial one zero two. to call an ambulance to take a patient to the hospital in case of an emergency a dispensary is not as big as a hospital it has a few doctors who treat us when we fall sick post office we go to a post office to buy stamps postcards and envelopes we also send letters money orders and parcels through the post office after writing a letter we put it into a letter box the postman takes out all the letters and carries them to the post office there these Letters are sorted out, stamped, and sent to different places by vans, buses, trains, and aeroplanes. Post offices where these letters are received give them to their postmen to deliver them to the right addresses. Bank. We keep our money and valuable things safe in a bank. Banks also lend money to people to buy houses, cars, etc. Banks also provide ATM services. An ATM is an automated teller machine that allows people to withdraw money. any time with the help of an atm card police station the police makes our neighborhood safe a police station is a place where policemen work they protect us from all kinds of danger they make sure that we obey the laws and live peacefully with each other to call the police we should simply dial 100 another group of police is called traffic police the work of traffic police is to control traffic on the road fire station a fire station has many fire fighters or firemen and fire engines when a fire breaks out the fire fighters in the red fire engines 
come to save the trapped people. The firefighters use ladders and water hoses to put off the fire. The firefighters are very brave and put even their own lives at risk to save people from fire. You can dial 101 to call a fire engine. Besides these places, neighborhoods also have schools, parks, libraries, bus stops, and railway stations. We should help keep our neighborhood neat and clean. Chapter 5 Food Food is our basic need. We all need food to grow and stay alive. Food gives us energy to work and play. It also helps our body to repair the damaged body parts. It keeps us healthy and strong. We eat different kinds of food because no single food item can provide all the things that our body needs. Energy giving food. Foods like bread, Chapati, rice, potato, sugar, butter, jam, sweets, ghee, and honey give us energy. Body building food. Foods like pulses, eggs, fish, peas, beans, nuts, cheese, and milk help our body grow well. Protective food Fruits and vegetables keep us healthy. They protect us from various diseases. A balanced diet We need to eat each kind of food at different times of the day. A balanced diet contains all the necessary nutrients in right proportion required for our body to stay healthy. We should also drink plenty of water for good health. It helps body digest food. It also helps throw away waste from our body. Food Habits People have different food habits. Some people eat only vegetables, food grains, fruits, nuts, milk, milk products and honey. They are called vegetarians. Some people eat eggs, meat and fish. They are called non-vegetarians. They also eat the vegetarian food items. Fast foods Some children love to eat pizzas, burgers, noodles and sandwiches. These are called fast foods. Fast foods taste good, but they are not good for health. They make us obese. Therefore, we should avoid Taking fast foods, chocolates, candies and ice creams are also not good for health. How food reaches our table? Have you ever wondered how food from the field reaches our dining table? Farmers grow crops in the field. When the crops are ripe, they are cut. Grains are kept and packed in sacks. The sacks are taken to the market. Shopkeepers buy them and keep them in their shops. The shopkeepers sell them to the people. Food is cooked at home for us to eat. 
we eat this food at the dining table. Smart eating habits. Here are some tips that you should follow at your dining table. Wash your hands before and after every meal. Eat slowly and chew the food properly. Never talk or laugh while eating food. Never eat uncovered or stale food. Never waste food. Never watch TV, mobile, or play a video game while eating. Chapter 6 House We all need a house to live in. A house protects us from heat, cold, rain, storm, thieves, insects, and wild animals. We get peace, comfort, and safety in our house. The house where we live with our family is called our home. Types of Houses There are mainly two types of houses, Kacha House and Pakka House. Kacha Houses Kacha Houses are made of mud, wood, bamboo and straw. These houses are easy to make and are not very strong. They are also called temporary houses. Huts are example of such houses. Pakka houses. Pakka houses are made of bricks, stone, cement, wood and steel. These houses, also called permanent houses, are very strong. Pakka houses are also of different types such as bungalows and multi-story buildings. A bungalow is a big independent house. A multi-story building has many floors with many houses on each floor. Each house of a multi-story building is called a flat. Special Houses There are some special types of houses that people make in different places. Tents Tents are temporary houses. They are made of strong cloth called canvas. They are easy to fold, carry and put up. Soldiers and scouts use tents to live in. People who go for trekking in the mountains also carry tents with them. Carvans Carvans are houses that move on wheels. They can be moved from one place to another by a car or a horse. They are also called movable houses. Banjaras and gypsies live in carvans. Houseboats Houseboats are houses made on boats that float on water. They are found in Kashmir and Kerala. Tourists like to live in a houseboat. Igloos Igloos are houses made of ice blocks. They are found in very cold regions. The Inuits live in igloos. Igloos protect people from cold wave. Roofs of houses. The roof is the topmost part of any building. Roofs are of two types. Flat roof and sloping roof. In plains and dry areas, people build houses with flat roofs. These roofs are usually made up of concrete. In hilly areas or in areas of heavy rainfall,
people make houses with sloping roofs these roofs allow water or snow to slide down easily people who help in building a house many people help us in building a house an architect designs the house a mason lays bricks with cement a carpenter makes doors windows and furniture an electrician fixes electric pipes and fits electric wires a plumber fixes taps and water pipes a painter white washes the walls doors and windows taking care of the house we should always keep our house neat and clean here are a few tips that will help you in keeping your house clean keep windows open to let in sunlight and fresh air dust and clean all the rooms keep shoes in a proper place do not scribble on walls throw garbage into a dustbin keep toys and other playthings in their proper place after play chapter 7 water all living beings need water to stay alive we need water to drink cook wash bathe and clean animals need water to drink and keep themselves cool plants need water to make their food many animals and plants live only in water sources of water our earth has more water than land water is found in ponds lakes streams rivers seas and oceans rain is the main source of water on earth when it rains rain water collects in ponds lakes and rivers the rivers flow into the seas and oceans the seas and oceans are very huge water bodies but their water is not fit for drinking or any other purpose as it is very salty some rain water also seeps into the ground this is called underground water people dig wells and tube wells to draw and use underground water hand pumps are also used for the same purpose how water gets dirty water in ponds lakes and rivers gets dirty due to some human activities some people wash clothes and bathe in river water some people also take their domestic animals to the rivers to give them a bath wastes from homes and factories are also released into rivers that make the water dirty how to make water clean water of rivers ponds and lakes contain dirt and germs we can make water germ free by boiling it for about 15 to 20 minutes we can also use water filters and water purifiers to make water clean and germ free in towns and cities water comes through taps tap water is first clean in the water works it is then sent to homes through pipelines save water water is precious for all living beings we must save every drop of it 
Go through the given do's and don'ts to save water. Do's Use the water left after washing vegetables and fruits to water the plants. Use a bucket and a mug to take a bath. Collect rainwater. It is a pure form of water and can be used for different purposes. Don'ts. Do not leave the tap running while brushing teeth, bathing or washing clothes. Do not have a shower bath. Do not use a hose pipe to water plants or wash vehicles. Use a bucket and a mug. Chapter 8 Our Festivals A festival is celebrated to mark and enjoy a special event. India is a land of festivals. We have a lot of joy and fun during festivals. People pray, wear new clothes, greet each other and eat special dishes. They also visit their relatives and friends and exchange sweets and gifts. We celebrate three types of festivals in India. National festivals, religious festivals and harvest festivals. National festivals National festivals are celebrated by all the people of the country. They are celebrated to mark Past events of national importance. The three national festivals of India are as follow. Independence Day. We celebrate Independence Day on 15th August every year. On this day in 1947, India became free from the British rule. The Prime Minister hosts the national flag at the Red Fort in Delhi and gives a speech to the nation. Republic Day We celebrate Republic Day on 26th January every year. A big parade is taken out at the Rajpath in New Delhi. School children and folk dancers from different parts of the country participate in the parade. The President of India hosts the national flag. Gandhi Jayanti We celebrate Gandhi Jayanti on 2nd October every year. It is the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi was a freedom fighter. He is also known as the father of the nation. Religious festivals People of different religions live together in India. The festivals associated with religions are called religious festivals. The Sehra The Sehra is celebrated to mark the victory of Lord Rama over Ravana. It falls at the end of a 10-day festival. People recall the story of Rama's life in Ramdila for nine nights. On the tenth day, huge effigies of Ravana, his brother Kumbhakaran and his son Meghnad are burned. The Sehra is also called Vijay Dashmi. Diwali 
Diwali is the festival of lights. It comes 20 days after the Shehra. We clean and decorate our houses with diyas and candles. At night, we pray to Lord Ganesh and Goddess Lakshmi. People wear new clothes and exchange gifts and sweets. We should not burn crackers as it makes air polluted. Holi Holi is the festival of colors. On the eve of Holi, people make holy bonfires to burn Holika. Next day, people throw water, colors and gulal at each other. Children play with water balloons and pichkaris. A special kind of sweet dish called gujia is prepared on this day. Eid Eid comes right after the month of Ramzan. Muslims keep fast during this month. People wear new clothes. They go to mosques for special prayers. They greet each other saying Eid Mubarak. A sweet dish called Sevanya is cooked and shared on this day. Christmas Christmas is the birthday of Lord Jesus Christ. It is celebrated on 25th December. Christians go to churches for special prayers and to sing carols. They decorate Christmas tree at their homes. Children wait for gifts from Santa Claus. Gurpurab Sikhs celebrate Gurpurab to mark the birth of Sikh Gurus. They offer special prayers in Gurdwaras. They listen to Shabad and Kirtan there. They eat from a common kitchen called Langar. Big processions are taken out. Harvest Festivals Cutting and collecting ripe crops is called Harvesting. Festivals celebrated to mark harvest seasons are called harvest festivals. There are many harvest festivals celebrated in India. Pongal Pongal is the main harvest festival of Tamil Nadu. It falls in the month of January. It is a three days festival. People clean their houses and make beautiful designs called kolam on the floor. A special dish called pongal rice is prepared on the second day. Onam Onam is the main harvest festival of Kerala. People clean their houses and decorate the compounds of their houses with rangolis. Processions with decorated elephants are taken out. Snake boat races or chandans are the most important events of this festival. Bihu Bihu is celebrated in Assam. People prepare special food they gather at different places to sing songs, play drums and dance. Chapter 9 Animals That Help Us Some animals are very useful to us. They give us many things and help us in many ways. Such animals are called domestic animals. These animals are kept at homes or on farms. Animals such as cows, buffaloes, goats and camels give us milk. We use milk to make butter, 
चीज घी कर्ड एंड आइसक्रीम बर्ड्स लाइक हेन्स एंड डक्स गिव आस एग्स वी यूज एग्स टू मेक अ वराइटी ऑफ डिशेज एग्स आर रिच इन प्रोटीन एंड अदर इम्पोर्टेंट न्यूट्रिएंट्स। सम पीपल ईट द मीट ऑफ एनिमल्स लाइक हेन गोड शीप एंड फिश सच पीपल आर कॉल्ड नॉन वेजिटेरियंस वी गेट वूल मोस्टली फ्रॉम शीप वुल इन क्लोथ्स वर्न इन विंटर्स आर मेड फ्रॉम वूल We get silk threads from an insect called silk worm. Silk is used to make silk clothes and accessories. We get honey and wax from honey bees. Honey is a sweet and healthy food. Wax is used for making candles and polish. We get leather from the skin of dead animals such as goats, buffaloes, camels, crocodiles and snakes. Leather is used for making bags, shoes, jackets, belts and purses. Animals such as camels, horses, bullocks Donkeys and elephants are used to carry loads. They make our work easy. These animals are called the beasts of burden. Pets such as dogs, cats and parrots are kept for safety and fun. Caring for animals We should take proper care of animals. We should give them healthy food and clean water. We should keep homes of animals clean. We should be caring and kind to them. We should take sick animals to a veterinary doctor. A veterinary doctor treats sick animals. Chapter 10 Uses of Plants Take a look around your classroom Chairs tables door and windows in the classroom are made from the wood that we get from plants Food in your tiffin also comes from plants Even the uniform that you wear is made mostly from plants we depend on plants for so many things food from plants most of our food comes from various parts of plants we get cereals and pulses from plants cereals and pulses are also called food grains wheat rice peas kidney beans we get fruits from plants some fruits are juicy and some are dry fruits are good for our health apple mango orange grapes almond walnut cashew nut pistachio we get tea coffee chocolate and sugar from plants tea is the most favorite drink in the world it is often called the queen of hot drinks we get vegetables from plants we eat different parts of plants as vegetables carrot potato cabbage lady's finger we get spices from plants spices add 
flavor and taste to our food. Turmeric, cloves, black pepper, cardamom. We get vegetable oils from plants. Seeds of some plants like mustard, coconut, sunflower and olive have oil in them. We crush these seeds to get oil. Oil is used to cook food. Mustard oil, coconut oil, sunflower oil, olive oil. Medicines from plants. Some plants like neem, tulsi, mint and eucalyptus have medicinal properties. For example, tulsi leaves are used to cure cough and cold. Parts of some plants like ginger, turmeric, clove and aloe vera are also used as medicines. Fibers from plants. We get fibers like cotton and jute from plants. Cotton fiber is used to make cloth. Jute fiber is used to make baskets, ropes, mats, sacks and many other useful items. Wood from plants. We get wood from trees. Wood is used to make furniture, doors, windows and many useful things. Perfumes from plants. We get perfumes from some sweet smelling flowers. We make perfumes from flowers like rose, jasmine and lavender. Gum, rubber and paper from plants. We get gum, rubber and paper from plants. Gum or glue comes from babool tree. Rubber comes from rubber tree. Paper is made from the stems of bamboo plant. Other uses of plants. We use parts of some plants to make soaps, shampoos, toothpaste and many such items. The leaves of henna plant are dried, crushed and made into a paste. This paste is used to make designs on hands. Fodder for animals comes from plants. Plants give us oxygen that we breathe. Now you know how important plants and trees are in our life. We should not cut them or cause any harm to them. In fact, we should plant more trees. Chapter 11 Being in Touch Every day we send and receive many messages. We talk to each other on the telephone. We also write letters. This way we share information with others. Sending or receiving messages, information and news is known as communication. There are many different ways of communication. Let us see how these people are communicating. Mr. Sharma is sending an SMS to his relative through a mobile phone. Alicia is talking to her grandmother over the mobile phone. Mother is helping Daisy to send an email through a computer using internet. Anjali is sending an important message through a fax machine. Aman is sending a letter to his friend Ankur. Some other means of communication. There are many other means of communication. A radio gives news to a large number of people. A television displays pictures and video clips 
of related news and events. A newspaper contains news in printed form. Books and magazines give us a variety of information in the form of news, events and stories. Animals also communicate. Animals also communicate with their own kind. Animals make unique sounds or body movements to communicate. Let us learn about the sounds made by some animals. A dog barks. A loin roars. An elephant trumpets. A donkey brays. A bird chirps. A monkey chatters. Chapter 12 Travel Time Travel means to move from one place to another. For traveling, we use different types of vehicles. These vehicles are known as means of transport. There are three types of means of transport. Land transport water transport and air transport. Land transport. Many types of vehicles move on the land. In villages, people use animals to carry people and goods from one place to another. Horses pull tongas and bullocks pull carts. In forests, elephants carry heavy logs. In hilly areas, ponies and yaks are used to carry people and goods. Similarly, camels are the main means of transport in deserts. A camel is therefore called the ship of the desert. In towns and cities, bicycles, scooters, motorbikes, buses, cars and trains are the means of land transport. Trains carry people and goods in bulk to long distances. Trains move on tracks. In big cities like Delhi, Mumbai, Lucknow, Jaipur, Hyderabad, Chennai, Bengaluru and Kolkata, people use metro trains for travelling within the city. They run on electricity and move on the ground as well as underground. Water transport Means of water transport move on water. Ships Steamers, boats and ferries are the main means of water transport. Boats and steamers are normally used in rivers. Ships carry people and heavy goods across the seas to distant places. Ships load and unload goods at ports. Air transport Aeroplanes and helicopters are the commonly used means of air transport. Aeroplanes are the fastest means of transport. They travel long distances in a very short time. Aeroplanes land at and take off from an airport. Helicopters carry a few people and goods to remote areas like hills and 
forests. They do not fly as high and as fast as aeroplanes.
Chapter 13 Safety First Safety means protecting oneself from any harm or injury. We are safe as long as we are careful. Safety rules keep us safe. We should follow safety rules everywhere and at all the time. Safety at home. Do not play with sharp objects like blades, knives and scissors. Never touch electric switches, iron, plugs and wires with wet hands. Never fly kites from the terrace. Never take any medicine on your own. Do not light matchsticks or gas stoves. Safety on the road. Always walk on the footpath. Cross the road at the zebra crossing. Never play or run on the road. Obey the traffic lights. Red light says stop or relax. Yellow light says wait or slow down. Green light says go. Safety at bus stop and inside the bus. Stand in a queue at the bus stop. Never get in, get off a moving bus. Never travel on the footboard. Never stick head or hands out of the window of a moving bus. Do not talk to or disturb the driver. Safety in the playground. Always play in a park or a playground. Always play safe games. Wait for your turn and do not push anyone. Do not stand in front of moving swings or slides. Safety in the swimming pool. Never go for swimming alone. Use a swimming tube in the pool. Do not go deep in the water. Do not run around the pool. Safety when you go out. Stay close to your parents or the elder who is with you. Do not go to a crowded place alone. If you are lost, ask a security guard, policeman or an elder to help you. Do not touch things which do not belong to you. If you or someone else gets hurt, inform an elder. He or she will give first aid and call a doctor. Chapter 14 Weather and Seasons Weather is the condition of the atmosphere at a particular place and time. Sometimes the weather is hot, sometimes it is cold and sometimes it becomes cloudy. So, the weather changes from day to day and from place to place. When the weather remains the same for a few months, it is called a season. There are mainly three seasons in India. Summer, Monsoon and Winter. Summer Summer is the hot season. The sun shines brightly in summer. The days are longer and nights are shorter. We wear light cotton clothes to keep ourselves cool. We use fans, coolers and air conditioners in this season. We also like to drink lots of water. We also enjoy 
cold drinks and ice creams. Some people go to hill stations where it is cool even during summer. Monsoon Monsoon is also known as rainy season. The sky remains cloudy and it rains very often. We wear raincoats or carry umbrellas when we go out. Sometimes we see a rainbow when there is bright sunshine after the rain. Farmers welcome the rain because it is necessary for the growth of crops. Winter Winter is the cold season. Sometimes cold wind blows. It may snow in hills and mountains. We wear woolen clothes and use heaters to keep ourselves warm. We like to eat and drink something hot during this season. The days are shorter and the nights are longer. Besides these three seasons, we have two more short seasons. They are spring and autumn. Spring Spring is the season between winter and summer. The weather is pleasant, neither too hot nor too cold. Flowers bloom and new leaves grow on plants during this season. A lot of butterflies, bees and birds are a common sight in this season. The spring season is so pleasant that it is sometimes called the queen of seasons. Autumn The autumn comes right after the rainy season. The temperature starts getting down and the days begin to get shorter. Many trees shed their leaves during this season. Rainbow Have you ever seen a rainbow? You see a rainbow after the rain stops. A rainbow has seven colors. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. The word with your is made with the first letter of all the colors in the rainbow. Chapter 15 Directions and Time Every day we have to go to some places. We cannot go to these places if we do not know the routes to these places. We find out and remember these routes with the help of directions. There are four main directions, north, south, east and west. The sun can help us find out these directions. Stand straight facing the rising sun. Stretch your arms. You know that the sun rises in the east. East is in front of you. West is right behind you. North is on your left. South is on your right. Directions in a map A map is a drawing of a place on a flat surface like paper. Look at the map given alongside. The top of the map shows north. The bottom shows south. The right of the map shows east. The left of the map shows west. All the maps have the same pattern of showing the directions. Time The position of the sun in the sky tells us what time of the day it is. When the sun rises in the east, we call it morning. We wake up and get ready for school in the morning. When the sun is high in the sky, 
we call it noon or midday. After that, the sun moves slowly towards the west. We call it afternoon. It is the time to come back from school. When the sun sets in the west, we call it evening. After the sunset, it becomes dark. We call it night. We can see the moon and the stars at night. Night is the time to sleep. Clocks and watches We use clocks and watches to know the time. They mostly have two hands, one big and one small. A clock has twelve numbers placed at equal distance. As time goes by, the hands in the clock move from one number to another. The small hand tells us what hour it is. The big hand tells us minutes. A complete day has 24 hours. Each hour has 60 minutes and each minute has 60 seconds. Some clocks and watches also have an extra hand for seconds. It moves one space every second. Week, month and year. Seven days make a week. These are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Twelve months make a year. Months of a year are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. A year has 365 or 366 days. A month has 30 or 31 days. Only the month of February has 28 or 29 days. A calendar. A calendar shows all the months of a year in order. It also shows days and dates of each month. Calendars help us to remind holidays and other important dates. Chapter 16. The Earth The Earth is our home. It is also the home of all living beings. The Earth is round in shape. It moves around the sun and gets heat and light from it. The surface of the earth is made up of land and water. It has three parts water and one part land. The earth is surrounded by air. The land and the water are not the same everywhere. They vary from place to place. Let us learn different natural features found on the Earth's surface. Land There are different types of landforms on the Earth. Plain A plain is a level and large area of flat land. People grow many crops in plains. Plains are usually hot in summers and cold in winters. Most of the people live in plains. Hill An area of land that is higher than the surrounding area is called a hill. A hill has pleasant and windy weather all the year round. This is the reason 
people living in plains visit hill stations in summer. Mountain A very high hill is called a mountain. The top of a mountain is called its peak. The peaks of very high mountains are covered with snow. Most of the rivers flow down high mountains. Plateau Sometimes a high land is flat at the top. It looks like a table top. It is known as plateau. A plateau is also called a table land. Valley A valley is a low land that lies between two hills or mountains. A valley makes a V or U shape. There are thick forests in the valley. Many rivers flow through them. Desert A large area of hot and dry land covered with sand is called a desert. There is very little water found in deserts. Only a few plants such as cactus and palm grow here. Island A piece of land surrounded on all the sides by a large water body is called an island. Most of the islands are located in the seas and oceans. Water Water is present on the earth in many forms. River A big channel of flowing water is called a river. When snow melts on high mountains, it flows down to the plains as a stream of river. The two sides of a river are called its banks. Some rivers get water from rainfall. Waterfall When water falls from a great height,